Hey, you guys. Hello, it's me, Allison Rosen. How's it going? I just got back from uh, recording the live podcast at the John Lovitz Podcast Theater. Our guest tonight was Aisha Tyler. And I thought to myself, what's that high-pitched hum that I'm hearing coming from the computer? That's going to make this vlog extra enjoyable when people listen to it. Um, no, I thought to myself, do I feel like vlogging? Hmm. 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 I'm going to stop doing this because this is not an attractive wrist angle. Um, and then I thought, you know what? We are heading into a long weekend. So regardless, irregardless, but I didn't think that because I wouldn't think that. Regardless of whether I feel like vlogging or not, I owe you guys a vlog because you're going to be without. And I don't want you to be without. But here's the thing, the Maru, Majig, E, is um, it's this. Uh, you might recall that I had a little list that I made on a post-it note, one much like this last time of things I want to talk about and I only got through like half of it and I said boy part two is sure going to be good and I've lost the post-it note but I do recall that there was there was something on there that I want to tell you guys about I feel like it's really sort of a beta topic in that it needs to follow something that's more substantial because otherwise it makes me look shallow. And I've decided tonight that what it's going to follow is me talking about the fact that it needs to follow something else because otherwise and stuff. Anyway, what it is is, remember, remember last time I said that I had an epiphany that was an epiphanet about my inability to settle on an apartment. Well, that was followed hard upon by an epiphany about my face. And here it is. About, I don't know how long ago, maybe like when this podcast started, I began to think, holy cow, when did my smile get so gummy? <laughs> um, because I never thought of myself as a gummy smile person. Perhaps when I was younger, before I had braces and uh, extensive reconstructive surgery, but not that, just braces, uh, I was a little gummy, but... I've noticed in some of the photos that we take for the podcast, I think, holy hell. And then, as well, I've noticed in a message board, someone made a comment about that. And I thought, that's weird. So then when I went to the dentist this last time, I said to the hygienist, whose ear I had, I said, um, what's up with my gummy smile? And then I smiled for her, and she was charmed, as most people are, and she said, it doesn't look gummy at all. And I said, oh, no. Oh, no. And then I did my smile that I do, where where evidently, in my head at least, this part of my lip just folds all the way back or something. And as a side note to that, I'll tell you that for a little while I was so vexed with the aforementioned gummy smile that I was trying to, I was like, I just have to somehow either shoot my entire top lip with um, a tranquilizer dart or have someone punch me in the mouth, or Botox. I was like, is this a Botox thing? Is, are people using Botox for this? Um, I just have to learn to smile without pulling back my upper lip. So I was smiling like this in photos for like two days. Let me see if I can do it. Like that. And then I saw a photo, and as I explained to someone else, if the photo could make a sound, the photo with that smile, if a sound was attached, it'd be like this. I looked like life was painting me and I was just waiting to shuffle off this mortal coil, perhaps by my own hands. And then I thought, please, <laughs> my smile was one of my best features. Why am I going to hide that light behind a bushel? Anyway, the dental hygienist said, your lip is the exact same color as your gums. I, okay, I just caught whiff of this whole thing and I can't believe that this is what I'm choosing to do the blog about. But you guys are demanding it, so I will. Um, anyway, and I thought, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She doesn't. But anyway, the other day I was driving, 
with the uh, sun visor down and the little flap open. So I was driving and staring at myself, which is sting. And I noticed by Jove, it is my lid. What appears to be my sizable gumminess in photos is my lip. And I will demonstrate. And it's because the top part of my lip is actually darker than this under part. But so therefore, it looks like I've got this tiny little upper lip that is getting smaller and smaller by the day while the gum part is bigger. But it's not that. And I'm going to explain. See? This here, this is my lip. 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 The gum is here, but it's all lip. That is all lip. Lip, lip, lip. <laughs> so then, oh, 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 and there's another thing. <clears throat> strongly doubting whether I should actually upload this, by the way. I do that thing, which is where I put on lipstick and then I pull my finger through my lips to pull the lipstick off the inside so if I don't get lipstick on my teeth because that's not a good look. Uh, and I think thus I'm pulling the lip color off the inside part, hence adding to the gumminess. So anyway, I feel better knowing that. Uh, I've decided that from now on I'm going to apply lipstick all over I'm going to smile and then put on lipstick all over my teeth as well. And I wanted to let you guys in on this. Let's look at some of the pens that are on um, my boyfriend's desk, okay? There's this one. It's fancy. And then there's this, which actually looks like a lip brush, but it's not. But it would be so apropos if it were. Here, I'll write you guys a note on this paper. Writing the note. Okay, I'm going to hold up the note now. In a sec, I have to draw a, a, a duck. Okay, here's the note. And there's a duck that's not that. Oh, I can also draw a cockatiel. Would you like to see that? I haven't drawn it in a while, but I am a regular Bob Ross, if that's who I'm thinking of. You guys entertain yourself for a moment while I do this. If I were Rachel Ray, I'd be yammering the entire time I'm doing this because that woman never stops talking. Have you noticed? She's like, and now I'm putting greens in a... <laughs> and blah, blah. But with more words. Uh-oh. This is not a good bird. All right. You'll just have to imagine. Here, okay, see? It, this looks like a bird with a giant head and tiny wings wearing a crown. But it's not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be a cockatiel. I've lost my drawing chops. My dr chop. Dr drop. I can't make those words come together. I can't have, I can't make those words have sex. Okay, this has been more vlog than you probably wanted. But I always say, leave them wanting less. Okay, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Maybe I'll pop by to say something about my face or about stuff that someone might care more about. Um, I love you guys, and uh, I'll see you soon. I'm turning this off now. <laughs>